morning guys welcome back to my channel it's morning for me but probably not when you're watching this um today my mom and i are going to the bins um we like to go together like on weekends because she works during the week um so yeah we're gonna go it is sunday morning we're gonna head to the bins together and hopefully we find some good things um here is your little good morning from Ashley. So yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys. Hopefully I'll film a little bit of the bins. If I don't, then I will just see you in the haul portion. All right, let's just go ahead and start with the clothing. Um, I do have like quite a bit of shoes and like bras that I, I'm gonna show, but I will put a timestamp on the screen here telling you where to skip to if you want to see the shoes only. But let's start with the clothes. So I did hang everything and some of it is photographed. Very few of the things are listed, but I did only go to the bins yesterday. So I've only gotten some finished but let's just get started so um i'm actually gonna start with probably the best find this um i could just tell felt super nice and the label looked to be something more higher end than typically what i see so this is the label this is the brand fabiana pigna i'm totally probably saying that wrong size medium and it also comes with a belt, and the belt is, like, tubular. <laughs> is that the right word? I don't know. Anyways, so it's this really, really cute um, sleeveless button front romper. So it's actually, I thought it was a dress when I first picked it up, and then I, when I looked at it further, it is actually a romper, and it is so cute. Or a jumpsuit, probably more, is what it is, not a romper. Um... So yeah, I looked it up and their dresses retail for $6.95 to like $1,000. And when I looked up comps of the bins, I still thought this was a dress. So I haven't looked at jumpsuit comps, but I'm hoping it's in the same range. And then I hope the comps are really good. So yeah, I was really excited to find this because I, I was just, I guess I was just shocked that that was still in the bin. All right. Um, so next, this is a bra. This one is a, like a light pink lace. I'm going to let my dog in in a second. Once I show you this, this one is just Auden, which is sold at, um, Target size 38D, but I'll still pick up Auden at the bins. Okay. The next item is a sweater and I actually found quite a bit of like cashmere and wool. Um, this one is Turnberry extra fine merino wool. I have not looked it up but I feel like since it's like a tacked on um, label that's usually a good sign. Size extra large assuming this is men's um, and it's like a nice navy like vest with a v-neck. It's super nice. Um, I couldn't find holes which is really great. We'll see once I photograph it if something pops up, but I really hope not. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put pants over here. Okay, you guys probably saw this in the beginning when I was like sorting through the bins. I've got like no footage, but this is a sweatshirt which has like an interesting tank top built in. Um, I'll just unzip it to show you. So it has a built in tank top, like literally is sewn in and it comes out the bottom um this one is adidas stella mccartney size extra small so this is great this is a really good um collaboration stella mccartney retails for a ton and then the adidas one is pretty good as well i was super happy to find this in a picked over bin um i think it's pretty cute too good style so happy about that Next is this tank top. You can probably guess what the brand is just by the way it looks. <laughs> um, it is Lululemon. And since it doesn't have the pull tag, I have to estimate the size based on measurements. 
but just by looking at it, it looks to be like a six or a four. Um, but of course I will do measurements and look at a size chart. So happy to find that. Okay. This feels super nice and, uh, it doesn't have the label there. As you can see, it must've just like fallen off. Um, it's a really cute, what would you call this? Um, what is that called? Oh, 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 what is that called? Um, I forget where it like is stretchy, but I looked on the inside tag and the brand is Blue Life, which is a really good brand. I forget where this is sold, 100% rayon, but it's super cute. Like a little off the shoulder kind of tank. Um, probably going to sell quick, hopefully, because it is getting warmer out. Um, this would be so cute over like a swimsuit. So I'm glad I looked in the inside tag. All right. This is not something I always pick up, but I thought this was cute. I don't know. Most of their styles look the same, but this is cloth and stone size medium. It is a blue chambray button front shirt. Like I said, most of their styles look the same, um, but I don't know. I like the sleeves on this one. This needs to be steamed really bad. <laughs> Um, yeah, I thought the sleeves were cute and I don't know, cute popover. It's just hard for me to leave behind. Um, this is J Crew, size small. This is adorable and it's like an open knit sweater, which I know it's a sweater, but I feel like since it's like whole has holes all over it and it's pretty open, this could be good in the summer, like summer nights when it's a little bit chilly. Um, you could wear this over a swimsuit because it's like somewhat sheer. It's just really cute in my opinion. So short sleeve or half sleeve um, sweater, really cute. It's also from spring of 2020, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, spring of 20. So it's fairly new as well. This is not like a great brand, but I grabbed it because it is new with tags. This is just Sincerely Jewels which I do kind of feel like is sold at Marshalls or like TJ Maxx. Um, but this is just a cute like Argyle um, print V-neck vest. And it's also a size extra large, which kind of helps, um, I think, sell it. So pretty cute. All right. This one was an absolutely great find. Um, this is Vince. And I do like Vince, but... Things like this, this is an outerwear, like, jacket. Things like this from Vince sell so much better than, like, their pants or their shoes, in my opinion. And in my experience, this is, like, a button to the side. It also came with the belt, which I was so happy with. It was shoved in a pocket, like, just shoved in there. This is a merino wool blend jacket and I know it's not this time of year for jackets but I still feel like this should sell um I'm gonna put it on eBay and I have international shipping um turned on and I think this could sell internationally too so yeah all right here is another bra I know I'm gonna show more bras when I show the shoes but I kind of found a good amount this is Kashyyyk or Kashyyyk size 46c um, it's just a basic black bra. Found quite a few Kashyyyk bras in one bin, so I just grabbed all of them because I like selling that brand. Um, this is an aloe yoga bra. This is a sports bra with, like, a cute strappy back. Unfortunately, oh, no, I'm wrong. I thought I couldn't find the size, um, but it's actually in here. It's just in light font size large so that's great I'm glad I didn't have to measure it um it's really hard like guesstimating sizes for bras or sports bras just because like I feel like the sizing varies quite a bit so happy that that one was still on there okay next is this blazer I picked this up just because I felt like it was looked somewhat nice the brand is Vitarelli. Um, let's see. Vitare uh, well, is that the brand or is that the fabric? I think that's the brand. Yeah. So, um, the comps are like $30 to $50. Even if I get $25, I'll be happy just because I feel like suit coats and blazers for men don't 
typically sell very fast, but they do always eventually sell for me. So I decided to just take a risk on this and it is like becoming wedding season. So maybe that'll help. <laughs> That's just wishful thinking. All right, here is another Lululemon tank top. Um, this one has a couple little things, but it's, it's food, which is kind of gross. Um, I need to wash it still, but I know that'll come out because it's like surface staining. Um, this, yeah, Lululemon, don't know the size, but yeah, I thought this one was cute. So I am going to put this one draped over the top so that I remember to wash it. Okay. This was super fun to find. Um, this also needs to be washed, but this is J. Crew Schoolboy Blazer, size double zero, which is a small size, but I don't know. 100% uh, linen. And this style from J. Crew is pretty popular. I don't know how popular it still is, but I know I've heard a lot about it, like in the reselling space, <laughs> and I have sold it myself. So I. I love to find it. So I was happy about that. I'm just going to drape that over the top as well to wash it. Okay, this is actually pretty cute. This is cut from the cloth size 2X, which is the reason I picked it up. I don't typically pick up like cut from the cloth tops, things that aren't jeans, but I liked the size and I liked the style of this. I thought it was really cute and yeah, perfect spring summer item. Like I always mention in my haul videos, if you're interested in anything, please let me know. I have my email down below. I respond very quickly to that as well as my um, Instagram DMs. So, or you can comment as well. Just let me know and I will give you a good deal. This is the brand Bell Dock Proper, size two. It's a Lanswell Angora nylon blend. I just thought it was cute, like the vintage sweater. Um, like I said, I found quite a few sweaters so I will I was happy to pick this up I thought it was cute style super soft as well um this one is a bolo brand oh no I'm sorry this one is bolo brand I was getting a mix up because they're both blue turtlenecks this is a bolo brand um the brand is called Sablin or I'm not totally sure it's on a white background and the text is white s-a-b-l-y-n and it is a turtleneck sweater it has a little bit of just like pilling but it's not too bad um let's see is it cashmere it is 100 cashmere size medium and yeah this is a pretty expensive brand so i'm excited to do some more research and get this listed okay this is cashmere lord and taylor so this is 100 cashmere as well um, so happy to find cashmere in the bins because it's so lightweight. Um, it has like a bat wing open front. So cute. It's like a rich dark black color. 100% cashmere like I said. Size medium. Love that. Alright. This is J. Crew Wool Cashmere. Size extra small. This one has a little bit of pilling. Um, it's not too bad really but I just still wanted to pick it up because it was in good condition otherwise no holes super cute and I was just in the mood to pick up cashmere as you can see <laughs> so grab that okay this is so not the season but I had to I just had to get this so this is Talbot's Petite's 100% wool and it's like a Christmas holiday sw vest sweater so yeah it is just very much not the right season for this but I don't know I recently sold a ugly Christmas sweater about like two weeks ago. So people, I guess, are still buying them. I just, yeah. All right. This is the brand Wool Lovers. Um, is that, or is it Wool Lovers? I don't really know. This is super cute turtleneck blue color. Um, assuming it's wool because that's the name of the, oh, it's 30% cashmere, 70% merino wool which is a great combination. Um, is there a size? Yeah, size small. So cute. I love this color so much. Um, I just don't really like wearing turtlenecks. It just makes my neck itch. So yeah. All right. This is just Chico size one. I just thought it was in really good condition and this will be easy to just photograph and list. Um, not expecting more than like 15 because it's not 
new with tags or anything, but yeah, it's in just really good condition as well. Okay, this is Madewell. Unfortunately, it's a very small size, extra, extra small, but I really liked this top. This is a newer label and it's super cute, just like, um, what is it? What is that called? Um, wrap top. So just pretty cute, white. Uh, okay, this is adorable and I think this is a dress. It's just pretty short. Size US4, holding horses. This is an anthropology brand. I think this is adorable. So it's like a light pink ombre with like white bottom dress, really cute bell sleeves. I absolutely love this dress. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, grab that as well. This is just J Crew size double zero. Um, it's just like a nice denim y chambray shirt. Pretty simple. But hopefully that still sells. Oh, and I do have some purses. I only have one right here, but I will show the rest of them when I show the shoes. This is the brand The Sack, which um, I do like selling. This is the logo, The Sack. Um, and this is like a woven knit, just like a shoulder bag. Um, it's pretty hefty, not super heavy, but like pretty thick. Um, yeah, and it's in really good condition. So I decided to grab that. Okay guys, it's the next day and I decided to not film the shoes until everything's photographed and today I have everything photographed so I'm going to show you the shoes. Um, but I am going to start with the bras in the bag, the other bag that I have um, just because it's on top here. So this bag was super exciting to find. So it's this like tan camel um what would you call this? Like a messenger bag, kind of like a crossbody side bag. I guess you could wear it like that. Um, and the inside, so it has like a top zip. Um, the inside has like so many different pockets. This could actually be a diaper bag even because there's a lot of compartments. Anyways, <laughs> it is the brand Everlane. So I feel like this definitely makes sense that this is Everlane. I couldn't find the tag for like a while, but I knew it felt nice. So once I looked inside, saw that it was Everlane and I was not surprised. So yeah, super nice. It even has like a side pocket here. So you can put like a water bottle. Um, yeah. And then also there was a couple pairs of pants that I forgot to show yesterday that I'm going to show. Um, let's see. Well, first of all, look how cute this little baby um, onesie thing is. How adorable. This is just the brand Milk Barn. I don't know if this is anything um, special, but 9 to 12 months. It is so cute. It's a pink and white fox print. Okay, how adorable. I am getting sidetracked. Okay, so these are a pair of J Crew size 4 just like a nice trouser. They're pretty simple. It's just like a career wear pant, which I actually do pretty well with. Um, these have not been photographed, so that's going to go down there. Um, next are these. These are a pair of Prana, size 8, olive green, like cargo-y pants. They're pretty cute, just like basic. I like these a lot. These will sell well. All right. I'm just going through the pants pretty quickly here so that I can show you the shoes. Um, these are just the brand 10 tree size medium. I actually have had pretty good luck with this brand. Um, these are really cute for like spring, summer, large front pocket pant or shorts. <laughs> and I really like that color as well. All right. Always, I always love to find figs. These are size extra small figs. Uh, there's, these are a um, nursing pant, or what would you call it? Scrubs. <laughs> like, what's that word? Um, so yeah. So for like nurses, doctors, for like things like that, they're in really good condition as well. Um, okay, I believe this is a bolo 
So I could feel from just touching it that this was linen. And then when I looked at the tag, it says 100% linen made in Italy, which is another good sign. It says 42. So you can see that tag just looks nice. The brand is actually this 120% Lino is the brand. Um, and they're like a 100% linen pant, these cute little buttons on the pockets. And this brand is definitely a bolo. So this retails for over $500. I was shocked. Um, I don't know specifically of the pants if they're over 500, but like most of their things are. Um, still, even if these were like 250 or 300, that would be extremely expensive. So yeah, I'm excited to get those listed and um, it's like the perfect spring summer item. So, all right, last pair of bottoms. These are just, or this is just J. Crew size two and it's just a skirt, um, cotton spandex. Sorry if you can hear my dog, she's chewing on a bone. It's the only way I can get her to not like bark during the video. Um, okay. It's really cute. I love this print. I don't always pick up J. Crew skirts just because sometimes skirts don't like move very fast, but I thought this print was super cute. So grabbed that. All right. On to the bras. Um, this is actually a swimsuit, but I thought this was so cute. Bikini top floral and the brand is Frankie's bikinis in a size large. Um, I don't think this is necessarily like an expense, super expensive brand, but it is sold on Revolve. So, I mean, it's somewhat expensive and I only found the top, unfortunately, but still decided to grab that. Okay. This is Cassique. Like I said, I found a good amount of Cassique or Cassique size 46C. I'm just going to whip through these really quick. Here's another Cassique bra. I think it's also... Yeah, 46C, so somebody must have just donated all their old items. Um, this is a Torrid Curve bra, which I love selling Torrid Curve. Size 40 triple D. And this nice, just a classic black, which I think will sell pretty well. This is the brand Glamorize in a size 46G. I think it's a sports bra. Yeah, I'm just whipping through these really quick. Um, and then this last thing is not a bra, but it's another little onesie. It's so cute. Um, this is the brand Kicky Pants, which I actually just sold a dress by this brand. Um, and it's like a kid's brand. Um, and this one has like deer on them. So really cute. Okay, let's just get started. So I'm just going to pull from this bin. So whatever's on top. The first pair of shoes are these sandals. This is the brand La Artiste. So as you can see there, hopefully the lighting's okay. It's pretty nice out and I have the window open right there. So I'm just using natural light. So hopefully it's good enough. Um, these are the Livingstone in a size 39. I actually have pretty decent luck with um, La Artiste. They have some pretty wild print shoes. So as you can see, yeah, these are kind of wild, but I think those should sell well. Okay, I love these um, so much. I posted these on my Instagram story. These are a pair of loafer mule kind of shoes by the brand Madewell. They're in excellent condition. You can only see like a little bit of scuffing here on the bottom, which is like not that big of a deal. Um, these are a size seven. They're leather and the style name is like the Francis something something. And my name is Francis, so thought that was kind of cool. They're so cute. If these were my size. I definitely keep these, but I'm more of like a nine or a nine and a half. Oh, and also I wanted to mention that if you see, so this one, I have to get this Sharpie off, right? Somebody went crazy with that Sharpie. I don't know who, but I found if you just get nail polish remover a little bit on like a paper towel or something and rub it off it comes off so nicely um at least for the silver sharpie that i typically find it works really well okay next are these shoes i totally forgot to look these up and i'm having a really hard time finding anything about them so the brand is linea modina um industria argentina so they're Ar Argentinian or Argentine, 
the end yeah um anyways so the bottom just has a one so I can't figure out the size both of them have a one on the bottom and I could just measure and figure out but like that's so hard to do with shoes um so let me know what you guys think about these they're nice like leather dress shoes I just probably should have looked them up before purchasing them but yeah all right these are so cute so these are a pair of rain boots in this nice like rubber black um with a nice cute red stripe down the back with like a zipper i thought these were so cute um and the size is an eight yeah rubber upper anyways you're not gonna be able to really see um necessarily but these are steve madden i guess you can kind of see not really but they're steve madden which i think um these should do well not really the right season but somewhat like it's still raining here in washington state so i mean i would still wear rain boots and i think i listed those around 40 or 50. all right these are super cute so these are a pair of booties these are faux suede and they are a size nine wide and they are torrid so I don't find torrid shoes a whole lot, but I feel like they do okay. You can't really see, but they do okay. Um, these I think are a good style. They have like the sweater detail knit right there, which is super cute. These would do way better in fall, but I think they're super cute. So loved those. Okay, <laughs> this, I just like whipped I just literally walked by a accessories bin and just pulled this out and it happened to be Christian Dior um and this is 100% all silk Paris New York but okay I looked up comps and it's like some are listed for like 15 to 20 so I got more excited than I should have about this but I think I could at least get 15 which is I mean that's pretty good for a tie like it's weighs like nothing so I mean it's Christian Dior so it's still somewhat exciting but can't get too excited if you're only gonna get 15 but um it's kind of crazy because it's a designer but anyways still happy to find Dior in the bins um these are soft so FFT I actually have done pretty surprisingly well with this brand not super high like selling price but they tend to sell pretty quickly for me these are a leather heel I've already gotten a couple likes and I just listed these um they're size 9w so wide and yeah they're really cute um they're in really good condition actually like excellent barely worn so happy to find those okay this might be the first time I've ever actually found this brand or have found them in good enough condition so these are a I mean they're not like excellent but these are a pair of like chukka boots and you can't really see because it's like kind of in there but these are Allen Edmonds so I was pretty happy about that I think I listed these around 80 um they're size 9 obviously men's yeah this brand retails for a lot so I was really happy to find those in like good enough condition to pick up okay uh these okay so I've sold this brand before um they're a pair of wool slippers and I always forget the name these ones have it like rubbed off but I listed them um like I went to my other listing that I sold to this brand and I copied and just filled in the correct information so I forget what they're called off the top of my head I will put them on the screen um but these are size 11 to 11 and a half they're a wool slipper pretty nice um like I said the inside's like rubbed but other than that they're in pretty good condition all right next are Salvatore Ferragamo um I don't get super excited about this brand anymore it just doesn't sell for very much um I thought these were pretty cute though like I'll still pick them up but um these are size eight and yeah they're in decent condition there's wear on the bottom but that's typical um made in Italy yeah only expecting like 20 to 25 unfortunately so yeah all right next are these ortholite Merrells these are size 8 
And they're in a leather upper, brown, like, comfort shoe. Pretty, like, decent condition. I did put a little bit of leather conditioner on there, which seemed to actually work pretty well. So, yeah, hopefully, I'm hoping to get, like, 20 to 25. All right. All right. I got another bag. <laughs> um, next, okay, these are super exciting. I was, like, the first person to even see these because the bin rolled out and I spotted them and I knew right away that I wanted them. Um, these are, they're an interesting style, but they're Chaco and they're like a woven leather upper. Pretty interesting style on these. Size uh, men's nine. If you don't know, the size on Chacos are going to be on the back. So M is men's. Um, yeah, they're in really good condition and Pretty interesting style, good for this time of year. Okay, these are a pair of leather, like, winter boots, but they're pretty lightweight. Like, you could wear them, you know, not in the winter. The treads are in such good condition, and these are North Face. So, these are a women's size 7, and yeah, there's like a cute little um, knit part right there. I think, I think these are pretty cute. So, all right. Next are another pair of men's shoes. These are Mephisto. Um, M-E-P-H-I-S-T-O. I like selling this brand. These are in decent condition. They're a size nine and a half. And yeah, I mean, they're pretty like worn, but I feel like structurally they're in really good condition. So still decided to pick those up. Sorry guys, I'm a little out of breath because I was on the exercise bike this morning, like literally 30 minutes ago and I'm still kind of just like tired from that. But anyways, <laughs> next are these shoes. These are Bowden and they're like a strappy sandal size 42. They're, they like tie around your ankle in a certain way, which I can't figure it out, but yeah, I think these are so cute. I love the, like, patent leather back. These are so adorable. All right, another pa pair of Chacos. These ones are women's size 8, so you'll see that there's a W on this one. And, yeah, pink, like, fabric straps, rubber sole. These are so cute. These are, like, just classic Chacos. All right. I've been finding this brand, like, a lot more than I typically do recently. Um, these are Camper. And they're a size 39. And they're, like, a brown leather shoe. The style name starts with a P. I can't really remember. But, yeah. I think it's, like, one of their classic styles. So, hoping to get, like, 30 to 35 for these. Nothing, like, crazy. Um, okay. Last, last few here. These are so cute. These are a pair of Corky's heel shoes. I found another pair of Corky's, you'll see. Um, these are size six and yeah, really adorable. Love that style. Um, here's the other pair of Corky's. These ones are adorable also. Um, size 10, so not from the same person. Um, and these have a little more wear to them, but they're still really cute. Alright, next are these. These are Lucky Brand boots. I always pick up Lucky Brand booties if they're in good condition because they always sell really fast and for a good amount, like 25, not like crazy, but they're size 8. And yeah, they're really cute, just like brown leather booties. So, yep. Oh, these are so cute. Alright, um, how am I going to... Where is it? Oh. So these are a pair of suede boots. As you can see, they're so cute. Um, and these ones are Eileen Fisher, size seven. They're like a little worn in, as you can see with like the suede, but they're so cute. Oh, that my shoe trees are still in there. I'm gonna show you. I got these on um, Amazon. They weren't too expensive. They're called Angelus or something. Anyways, um, I love these so much, so I recommend. If you sell a lot of shoes to get one of those, they, they just make the 
shoe look better in my opinion. Okay, next are another pair of Bowden shoes. These ones are so cute. They're like pink orange suede heel. Um, these ones are size 38. So, love. Oh my gosh, last pair. Okay, here are another pair of men's dress shoes. They look like this, brown. And this is a brand I've never heard before in my entire life, but they're pretty expensive. Maybe a designer even. Um, the brand is Taboot New York by Adam Derrick. So, yeah, I think I, they're handmade, size 10. I think I listed them like 50 or maybe more than 50. I can't totally remember, but yeah, they're pretty nice. So I maybe they're a penny loafer because it has the little penny thing right there. Okay, guys, that is my entire haul. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below so you don't miss another haul video from me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.